biscottini all'arancia orange cookies Everybody, this is Alessandra welcome to my home welcome to my kitchen today I'm going to be making with you orange cookies they're a delightful little cookie that goes perfect for breakfast as an afternoon snack with your tea I'm gonna have them with espresso so I want to get it all done quickly simple ingredients you probably have them on I'm going to go over the list if you don't worry about writing it down. You can now go to on www.alessandrasfoodislove.com. No apostrophe S, just one word, alessandrasfoodislove.com, and you'll be able to download and print all my recipes. A stick of butter, 112 grams, half a cup of sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of vanilla, one large egg and a teaspoon of and a half of baking powder, the zest of an orange and four tablespoons of the juice of the orange. Now on the side here, I also have uh, a dish with a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of powdered sugar where we're going to be dipping the cookie in before baking it. Let's get started. To end up mixer, I'm going to add the stick of butter that's been out softened and the sugar. I'm going to be using the paddle attachment. Just place it on and let it whip because you want it to become light and fluffy and very a very pale yellow in color. Three, four minutes passed and the butter is nice, light and fluffy. I'm going to keep beating and add the egg in. Let it get incorporated and fluff up again. Increase the speed if you need to. Once it picks up the egg and you see it's light and fluffy again, add the vanilla and very slowly start adding the four tablespoons of the orange juice. Lemon zest goes in. Okay, I've used uh, salted butter. If you're using a non unsalted butter, add an eighth of a spoon of sea salt. Okay, I'm going to now add my baking powder. Okay, now I'm going to remove this from if it separates, don't worry, it's okay. Now I'm going to be adding the sifted butter in. Okay. Back under the KitchenAid, the uh, stand-up mixer, and now slowly get it all incorporated. It's going to be a sticky dough. I'll show you in just a minute. Look at the beautiful dough that it has formed. See, this is exactly what the dough needs to look like. Of course, it's very sticky because it's a butter dough. What we're going to do is place it in the fridge an hour, an hour and a half. Just let it thicken up a little bit so it's easier to scoop out. I'm using a one tablespoon ice cream scooper. I find it the easiest. You could also spoon it out and, and uh, but this is definitely, if you don't have it, Get this tool, it really comes in handy if you make cookies. Wow. And look at this. What what we will learn to roll beet meatballs comes in handy with cookies too. So I'm just gonna create a bowl, roughly put it in the powder and granulated sugar, and place it on your cookie sheet. Oven on 350, it made exactly 30 little delicious orange bowls. Let's get them in the oven. 15 minutes in the oven, they're ready. You don't want them to get too golden. This is what they need to look like. Just little golden underneath it. Don't overcook them. It takes away from the deliciousness of the cookie. Now, before they cool down, this is what I do. I take the uh, some of the leftover powdered sugar, granulated sugar, and just sprinkle it over the top.
the cookies are ready, my, my espresso is pronto, il mio caffè è pronto. It's still boiling hot, that's exactly how I like it. Thank you for watching, hit the subscribe button, the bell button also to be notified. A lot of new recipes coming up. Thank you for watching. Be safe, let's keep cooking. Arrivederci alla prossima. Ciao ciao.